Google Chrome's 15-year world domination could end within weeks because OpenAI is preparing to enter the browser market. And this isn't just another browser. It's a direct assault on Google's $220 billion advertising empire. Welcome back to AI Handbook Channel, where I expose the revolutionary changes happening in artificial intelligence every single day. By the end of this video, you'll understand why this browser launch could be the most significant tech battle since the smartphone wars, how OpenAI plans to steal Google's most valuable asset, and why the timing of this move might just be genius enough to work. To understand why this matters, you need to know what OpenAI is really attacking. Google Chrome isn't just a browser, it's the foundation of a $220 billion advertising machine that makes up nearly three quarters of Alphabet's entire revenue. Every click, every search, every website you visit through Chrome feeds data back to Google's advertising algorithms. With over 3 billion users worldwide, Chrome controls more than two-thirds of the entire browser market. That's not just dominance, that's a monopoly. And OpenAI wants to break it. But here's what makes this attack so dangerous. OpenAI already has 500 million weekly active ChatGPT users. If even a fraction of them switch to OpenAI's browser, it could create the first real threat to Chrome's dominance since Internet Explorer fell over a decade ago. The timing of this launch isn't coincidental, it's strategic brilliance. Right now, the US Department of Justice is demanding that Google sell Chrome after a federal judge ruled that Google holds an illegal monopoly in online search. OpenAI executives have already testified that they would be interested in buying Chrome if forced divestiture happens. But why wait for a government-forced sale when you can build your own Chrome killer? This is OpenAI striking while Google is legally vulnerable and distracted by antitrust battles. It's a classic disruption strategy. Attack your competitor when they're fighting on multiple fronts. Here's where the story gets fascinating. OpenAI's browser is built on Chromium, Google's own open source browser code. They're literally using Google's own technology as the foundation to destroy Google's business model. But the real weapon isn't the browser itself, it's how it fundamentally changes web browsing. Instead of clicking through to websites, users will delegate tasks directly to OpenAI's AI agents. Need to book a restaurant? The AI does it without leaving the browser. Want to research a topic? ChatGPT provides answers without sending you to Google search. This isn't just a browser, it's a ChatGPT-powered internet interface that keeps users inside OpenAI's ecosystem instead of feeding the Google machine. Last year, OpenAI made a move that should have sent alarm bells ringing at Google headquarters. They hired two longtime Google vice presidents who were part of the original team that developed Google Chrome. Think about that for a moment. The people who built Chrome's foundation are now building its replacement. They know every strength, every weakness, every architectural decision that went into creating the world's most dominant browser. This isn't just competition, it's intellectual warfare using Google's own former executives as the weapons. But the real battle isn't about browsers, it's about data. Google's entire business model depends on Chrome providing user information to target ads more effectively. Every website you visit, every search you make, every click you generate feeds Google's advertising algorithms. OpenAI's strategy is to cut off that data stream entirely. By keeping interactions within a chat GPT-like interface, they're not just competing with Chrome, they're making traditional web browsing obsolete. Imagine never needing to visit individual websites because AI agents handle everything for you. That's not just a browser, that's a complete reimagining of how humans interact with the internet. OpenAI isn't alone in this fight. The same day this news broke, Perplexity launched their AI browser called Comet. The browser company released Dia, and Brave has their own AI-powered browser in development. This is rapidly becoming an AI browser arms race, with each company racing to replace traditional web browsing with AI-powered interactions. 
but OpenAI has a massive advantage. Their 500 million ChatGPT users already trust and use their AI technology daily. The question isn't whether AI browsers will succeed, it's which company will dominate the new paradigm. Google is fighting a multi-front war right now. They're battling antitrust regulators, competing with OpenAI and AI development, and now facing a direct assault on their browser dominance. Chrome has been Google's untouchable fortress for over a decade. Safari holds just 16% market share, despite being pre-installed on every iPhone and Mac. Microsoft Edge, despite massive promotional efforts, barely registers in market share statistics. But OpenAI has something no Chrome competitor has ever had, a compelling reason for users to switch that has nothing to do with the browser itself. They're offering a fundamentally different way to interact with the internet. OpenAI's browser will integrate their operator AI agent as a core feature. This isn't just chat GPT embedded in a browser. It's an AI that can actually perform actions on your behalf across the internet. Want to book a flight? The AI navigates airline websites, compares prices, and makes reservations. Need to research competitors for your business? The AI visits dozens of websites, analyzes data, and provides comprehensive reports. This turns the browser from a passive viewing tool into an active internet assistant. It's not just browsing, it's automated web interaction at scale. If OpenAI succeeds, we're looking at one of the largest wealth transfers in tech history. Google's advertising business, worth over $200 billion annually, could see significant erosion as users stop visiting traditional websites. Publishers who depend on Google search traffic could find their audiences migrating to AI-powered answers instead of their actual websites. E-commerce sites might lose direct visitors as AI agents handle shopping decisions. We're potentially watching the beginning of the end for the traditional web as we know it. For everyday users, this could mean the death of tab chaos, endless clicking through search results, and ad-saturated browsing experiences. Instead of managing dozens of browser tabs, you'd have conversational interactions with AI that handles the complexity for you. But it also raises privacy questions. Will OpenAI collect and monetize user data like Google does? How will they fund browser development without advertising revenue? These are critical questions that will determine whether this revolution benefits users or just changes who controls their data. Here's where things get complicated. If the Department of Justice succeeds in forcing Google to sell Chrome, it could completely reshape this competitive landscape. OpenAI has already expressed interest in buying Chrome outright. Imagine OpenAI owning both Chrome and their own AI browser. That would create a new kind of monopoly, one that controls both traditional and AI-powered web browsing. Regulators will need to decide whether breaking up Google's monopoly should create space for competitors or prevent new monopolies from forming. Google Chrome's 15-year domination could end within weeks, and this represents something much larger than a browser war. This is the battle for the future of human internet interaction. OpenAI isn't just launching a browser. They're betting that AI-powered internet interaction will replace traditional web browsing entirely. If they're right, we're witnessing the beginning of Internet 3.0 where artificial intelligence becomes the primary interface between humans and digital information. Google built their empire by organizing the world's information. OpenAI wants to make that organization obsolete by having AI understand and act on that information directly. The stakes couldn't be higher. We're not just choosing between browsers, we're choosing between two completely different visions of how humans should interact with digital information. The revolution starts in a few weeks, and for the first time in over a decade, Google Chrome's throne is genuinely under threat. Which browser will you choose when OpenAI launches? Share your predictions in the comments.